Well, everyone, it's finally hit that time that everyone hates the last day of a vacation, or at least for me, a work trip because I love doing YouTube. And we were planning on doing some stuff today, but long story short, uh, it my, may not be my last day in Dubai. Uh, uh, I might be stuck here. We had some issues. I, we basically just caught up. It's not really anyone's fault, but a uh, trip week, week. planner uh, <laughs> uh, doesn't have a reservation for this guy right here. Yeah, so. We yeah, booked our we'll flight separately. I'm actually going on em Emirates Economy Plus. We're just gonna be taking the chill. We're gonna get breakfast and just enjoy the last day. But I did feel like it's important talking about safety and stuff to be like, is coming to Dubai slash Abu Dhabi safe? We are here at the Millennium Place Marina. This is where we stayed. It's pretty close to Dubai. We're kind of by JBR actually. If you look up on a map where JBR is by the palm. Um, it was $550 for seven nights, so pretty good. During the dead slash hot season, it's just so rough here that people don't really want to travel here. They'll go to other locations. Even like the normal UK people who come over here, just stay home. It's just, it's just really hot. Like most of these days, it's felt like over 110 degree weather. I'm going to talk about this hotel in the area and how safe I felt. But remember, this is just my opinion through my own experiences. Room's a mess, but we slept like babies. End of the day, when it comes to housing, there is a ton of affordable options depending on what you're looking for. Even if it's not a hotel, even if it's in the busy season, these hotels will get more expensive, but you do have good Airbnbs. Obviously, always just look at reviews and see if they're a super host. I normally Airbnb, but we were fortunate enough to get this really nice hotel, absolutely stunning, but yes, it's safe. And we've had many conversations with both other people traveling from around the world, Australia, UK, and locals who live here. It, it's, it, you know, don't get me wrong, it was my first time in the, in the Middle East. I was a little concerned just because I'm scared no matter where I go, scared when I was going to Tokyo. And the one thing that always makes me feel a little more comfortable is just having those real human conversations with people. And then, you know, that's, at the end of the day, like SeaWorld says, we're all part of one ocean and it makes it easier. And to be fair, we did stay in Dubai for the most part and Abu Dhabi, which are the two big cities here. Yeah. So we didn't travel too much outside of those areas. So we're not too sure about how safe it would be outside of those areas, but at least in Dubai and Abu Dhabi, you feel very comfortable not even a slight worry, in my opinion. The only time I didn't feel safe was on Thor's Thunderspin. When it comes to food, the cool thing is that there's something literally for everyone in Dubai. And even Abu Dhabi, like there's Starbucks, McDonald's, KFC. I feel like it's more hype over here. I saw so many advertisements this trip of them trying your new Doritos Crunch Taco, you know, like there's just so many options. And then if you actually want to be a little more authentic, you can find some mom and pop shops or some more local uh, realtors. Food isn't an issue. Uh, our trip personally, um, we did take some chances. I think the biggest thing that I enjoyed was the amount of spice they had in certain foods. Like when they say it's spicy in America, eh, it's not spicy here. It's actually spicy to the, to the point do they actually give you gloves in some situations? And <laughs> yeah, it was fun. See that motorcycle right there? That's actually a delivery service. They don't have Uber Eats here, but they do have Deliveroo and a bunch of other, uh, you know, online food ordering apps. So, and it's 24 seven, you know, it's a big city. So, even, oh, there's another guy right here. Point is I was actually able to order McDonald's at 3 a.m. after going out to the club. Speaking of food, we're getting lunch before we fly out. Or, I mean, are, did you get a flight yet? No, yes, maybe? No, okay. I don't have a flight out. Well, let's, that sucks. Okay, we'll get back to that. Anyway, what was your- We leave in eight hours. Let's focus on the positive. I believe my favorite food we've had was probably yours. You got from here, the grilled lamb chops. That was delicious. Yeah. Very impressed that. Was that your favorite I, meal for the whole trip? I think my favorite meal for the whole trip was technically your meal, the grilled lamb chops from Matt. Wow. One thing I've noticed is that the food and drinks you can try in Dubai have been really fun and different. So cheers to a good week. I apologize that uh, your last day was cut short. Yeah. Technically mine too, but I'm here for him. It's okay, we had a good time, so I don't, I'm not yeah. even upset. Yeah, we did pretty much everything we needed to do. That. Yeah, we just uh, gotta make sure you get home safe. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> As he's trying to get a ticket. Let's quickly summarize the details you've provided. You want to pay 6,500 euros from your card ending with <laughs> If these details are correct, please press one. If not, press two. To hear these details again, press hash. 
Yeah, that's correct. Six thousand five hundred ADs to get the flight. Okay, is this pretty normal for it to be declined right now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, it's under review. So, what have you been up to for the last couple hours? I fell asleep. Yeah, so this day's a wash. We wanted to maybe do something today, but having trouble. I don't have a ticket. Um, How much is your flight going to cost? About 1800 on the way back now. It was originally supposed to be about 900 At 7.14 at night, what happened? Finally just got the confirmation code for the plane, and I'm on your plane, so that's good. Nightlife here. Do they have it? Yeah, they do. Yeah. No, 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 hold on. He's like, yeah, yeah, because yeah. he's comparing it to New York, but people sometimes have the assumption that there isn't even nightlife. Like, some people yeah, even told me true. on the way here, they're like, yo, you can't even drink here. Yeah, no, you can true. drink. You can drink. There's a bunch of bars and all the hotels. Even some restaurants and venues that offer drinks. There are restaurants that didn't. Like we went to a yeah. sushi place and they didn't give us alcohol. Yeah. That was a little disappointing. I think the only thing was is that even though you can, I was a little bit just too afraid to like get that many drinks because you don't want to be seen in public like that. But at the same time, we did see people completely drunk and yes. intoxicated, even yelling in lobbies and yeah. it was totally fine. I think yeah. at the end of the day, it depends on where you are, but be smart, don't be dumb. Like, you wouldn't do that anywhere. Don't, definitely True. don't do it here. Cause we, we did see ARMY one time telling people to like calm down. On the last night, we're trying the other restaurants in this hotel and you get these kind of things everywhere. As you see, there's a bar, it's very aesthetic. They're playing kind of DJ party music, Americanized a little bit. You find this everywhere in Dubai. This is a solid table. They're actually doing a limited sushi right now. They do cheap. the specials all the time. It's cheap too. This is super cheap because one drink, like one cocktail is 50, right? But the unlimited sushi is 105. It's that like, is something we noticed that most uh, restaurants and yeah. clubs drinks are kind of expensive. I mean, like a beer will get you anywhere from 15 to $18, yeah. but you know, <laughs> I'm so upset that we just found this place on our last day. I feel like I'd come here more, but that has happened a lot. Not in a bad way. We found some amazing spots, but especially in the nightlife, there's so many restaurants and places to go. So I definitely recommend you guys uh, do some research. Like for example, <laughs> next week, Tyga's here. Yeah. And we're so good. upset about really that. really good to see Tyga. Yeah. This is Ava's favorite. What's in it? We got tequila with chili. Look at that. Look at this chili right here. All right. And then we got passion fruit puree, fresh lemon, agave syrup, and apple juice. I got and with sushi. It's cool because the chef prepared some off menu items. Oh my God, the sign is so red. Uh, <laughs> did you like this place? Um, yeah, we should have been here. The music's really good. We could have been using this as hype to go out yeah. at night, but instead we were at Mastery Chef the whole time. But Which was good. But it was good, but this is a better vibe. Point is, is that don't be afraid to explore in Dubai. This place is pretty safe as far as nightlife and restaurants. A lot of good restaurants here. Yeah, a lot. This is good. Look at, oh, this is the sign I was talking about. Find your purpose. I'm gonna miss this view. We got really lucky with our room. But at the end of the day, Dubai is a safe and fun and interesting place to come vacation, explore. There's something to do here for everyone, all ages. You got the theme parks, you got the clubs, you got the boat tours. I'm excited to come back here in the winter time. Goodbye, Millennium. You were good to us. Goodbye, rental car. You've helped us out. Fort Fiego. Next stop, Orlando. There, what is it, 16 hours? Yeah, so it was like 14 hours and 20 minutes on the way here, but it's 16 and a half on the way back. Time to find departures. Right there. A quick pause in the video to thank our sponsor, AKA me. All the money that we make from YouTube goes straight back into the channel so we can go on these crazy trips. A big thank you to my Patreon. You guys are actually getting a discount on my new merchandise, which is dropping right now. That's the announcement. Um, we have new merchandise and it's all geared around positivity. You know, the vibes and not only what I say, but what I preach. Just 
lifting each other up. So if you guys want some new JoJo merchandise, uh, it really helps me. It directly supports me and the growth of this channel. I do want to do many more trips. I love traveling and uh, yeah, your support means the world. So even if you can't afford anything, I still appreciate you watching this video. Leave a like and last thing, you might have seen some B-roll of shots you didn't see in the vlog. I have other vlogs that are smaller. I don't know if you guys would want to see them. We go to a rooftop pool bar. We eat out at some clubs. It was a good time. I just didn't know if you guys wanted to see it. So let me know down below if you want to see those videos. I might post them here or on my second channel. Well, there's actually a separate location for us because we're going to America. We are checking Area 5. Look at all these people uh, in Disney World. That's crazy. Well, security was super easy. We made it in with like no weights. This is a cool area. Got some duty free stores. We've got a long way to go. This is the place I was looking for last time. It's like a shopping mall in here. I think we can waste a lot of time. We've got like an hour and a half. Tax free watches. We got a flower and stone, a Starbucks over there. This place is literally like a mall. Time to get some gifts. Dates berries. I don't know these snacks and I'm not going to get them today, but. I kind of want to try one. Wait, this is actually really cute. Even though I didn't see any camels just because it was too hot in the desert. It says Dubai on its butt. Arabian delights. So many magic lamps, so many genies. I have like at least like 30 wishes here. They're kind of popping off with the gift merchandise. My man's got too much already. I've got too much stuff. There's so much cute stuff. They literally just have tubs of like fruit juice. There's so many things I haven't tried. <laughs> so who's that going to? It's going to my future wife, actually. I love that. Yeah. Gosh, they have a McDonald's. Yes, round sir. Two, round two, round two. Candy-licious. This place looks massive. This McDonald's is huge. It's huge. I ended up buying a lot of stuff, but it actually only came out to about 40 bucks USD. We got the Burj Khalifa. Me too. You did? got one too? Oh, cheers. I got a bigger one. <laughs> they are hustling at this McDonald's, let me tell you. Thank you. Whee! Yo, that McDonald's is insane. They are working their butts off. Um, there's, uh, there's actually less items than the other McDonald's. Yes, unfortunately, no chicken wings. Oh, you didn't get the chicken wings? No, they didn't have any. But you gotta go order your own stuff, it's good. I don't know, how are they? No. Actually, they're a little different, so. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm get mine. This is cool. They have some fun stands over here. Adidas. They got a little turf and everything. We got a full on Nutella stand. Nutella pastries, dang. This airport's kind of pulling up, I ain't gonna lie. Game space, it's like a PC and play area. You're telling me we could have gotten here 14 hours early and played World of Warcraft for 12 hours before boarding? I'm sure they only sell Budweiser and products of that, but it's really cool. They do serve other beers. <laughs> Hard Rock Cafe. Hard Rock to go. You can oh, get full entrees. Messy chicken sandwich made for you by Leo Messi. It's only 70 AED. We didn't even get it. We got McDonald's? What's wrong with us? So our gate got changed to the opposite end of the terminal. So we're walking all the way to the other side. We were thinking about sitting at the Budweiser place, but no go. I don't want to film anyone like sleeping, but there's a whole row of these kind of chairs. They're like laid out for people to like literally actually put on a blanket and sleep. That's awesome. I wish we had this. Found our gate and surprisingly, they're already boarding. It's 1.53. We don't departure until 2.50. This is the earliest I've ever seen someone board for a plane, which is kind of impressive. It's kind of making me antsy. I'm like, should I go on? Should I wait? We are doing uh, Economy Plus. And from what I know, the biggest difference is you're closer to business class and you have a little bit extra space in your seat, both width and length. Here we go. We're going down an escalator. It seems like there's like more security before you get on the plane. That's interesting. So that was extra security for uh, America. I think it's for America. Yeah. We think, we, we're just not for, sure. For this flight specifically. Going yeah, to the like US. they checked your bags. It's basically uh, just a whole nother security. Swabbed it down, swabbed your phone, swabbed your laptops. It was nuts. They even asked me, like, where's your receipt for this Coke? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but better safe it. than sorry, right? 
Now we have another like 30 minutes before we board, y'all. Here we go. There's our plane right over there, but we're not sitting next to each other. No, sir. I don't want to be stuck in the middle seat. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Let's see. That was a decent experience. They split the boarding groups. First to the left, economy to the right. Sorry, right, we're not over there. No, unfortunately. Oh, this still a line. I see, I see. Yeah, guys, one of these days I do want to do an Emirates first class or even business, but business is 5,000, first class is like 12,000. Um, my whole flight was about like 2,500, I believe. Here we go, about to get on the plane. Good morning. Good morning. Oh gosh, good morning, you're right. It's very Thank early. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, I'm, I'm coming. Why do you keep saying bye to me? We're leaving. I One day business class. Oh, they got the champagne and all that ready for them. Gosh darn. Anyway, you are all the way in the back of the very last row. The only good thing about it is it's the safest place in the place. All right, everyone, we're on. It's a full plane. Didn't get lucky like the first time. Right off the bat, I don't really notice too much of a difference in this seat compared to the regular economy seat, but I don't know. I'm chilling regardless. The seat's comfortable. Oh my gosh, my hair. It's 1 a.m. in the morning, everyone. Don't judge me. There is a baby in front of me and behind me but other than that the seat is actually it's pretty comfortable you know not too much of a difference from normal economy but you know regardless it's good i, I don't mind it i'm excited um i don't know how much sleep i'm gonna get on this one but we'll try our best there's the little safety briefing they do I didn't actually show it to you guys last time. That guy looks like Henry Cavill. This is fun. At the front of this ship, they actually have the monitors displaying the awesome POV of the plane. I love that. The best thing about Emirates is this screen, I swear. It's more entertaining than a movie sometimes. This is our flight from Dubai. Over all of these places I've never been. Um, honestly, the flight's pretty smooth. We're basically over the water. This is literally such a long flight, longer than our last, and I'm not ready for it. Once again, one really nice thing is you get this little packet. What's inside? You get some sakis. You get a face mask for your eyes, which I might actually use today. And then what I'm really excited about, because I haven't brushed my teeth in like, it feels like five hours. Let's do a brush. I swear this baby is going to be the death of me. <laughs> but anyway, you get headphones here. Super cool, super cool. I'm actually going to try to watch something. We have some good offerings today. I might watch Batman and Superman, like an animated, or 65 with Kylo Ren in it. Last of until, yeah, there's some new movies in here. Decent amount of good ones. Baby. You didn't see the baby. Baby is still crying, but the seatbelt sign is off, which means I can get up and go see my pal. I miss him. I know I just spent seven days with him, but I want to see how Jake's doing. He's all the way in the back, literally the last seat. A clone Tyrone. Is that what it is? I'm watching that one right now. It's pretty good. Check it out. No, seriously, look, that's Jake's seat. He's literally just all the way in the back. I've never been to the back of this ship. It's absolutely nuts. Wow. <laughs> that made me so happy all of a sudden. I don't care that the baby's crying. I got another picture on the flight there and the flight back. Usually that's meant for kids, but they even asked me this time. So now I'm going to try to watch a movie. Something interesting right now is that I clicked the movie to start and I'm actually getting run an ad. I've never seen this before. It doesn't really bother me. Hopefully my movie starts now. Let's see. Not yet, so I'm watching another ad. Our first meal has arrived. Chicken and rice, there was a vegetable option. Here is the chicken and rice. It's definitely different than last time when I was flying to Dubai, so that's fun. And I got some red wine to help me uh, go to bed soon. The other option was a pasta salad. I'm excited to try this chicken, let's try it. It's really yummy.
Well, sometimes you can't control certain things. It's been about six hours now. We still have a lot of time to go and there's literally two babies in front of me, one behind me. It just feels very uh, chaotic right now. The kids have been running around a lot. It, it's kind of um, very, very crowded. The bathrooms are kind of gross right now. It is a full uh, cruise uh, flight. Again, this is only my second time flying Emirates, but I'm definitely not necessarily relaxed. The food has been delicious and the crew has been very nice and accommodating, but again, it's just, I feel almost claustrophobic right now. Um, just being around so many people. It is, it's weird because I've gone many flights, but this just feels really chaotic. I guess because there's like literally three families of kids just running around and they're allowed to do that and the families are trying to like keep them in line but it's constant crying every 10 to 15 minutes. All right, it's going pretty good. I've slept a few hours, watched a movie and a half so far, got some food, the good spot in the very back, not too bad, not too bad. Got the wall right here, got my own little corner. Not, not bad, I'm doing good. How are you doing? Oh man, the pizza was actually really good though. But yeah, I see a lot of people are standing up right now. Um, this is fine, it's so much more quiet back here compared to the front where I am. I'm very jealous of Jake. This is definitely a big change. At the end of the day, it's not Emirates or the crew, it's just I got unlucky of a bunch of families around me, so. One thing I will say is if you're in the back, you get your food last, which makes sense. This man hasn't gotten his pizza yet. When the seatbelt sign is not on, people really just do stand up and chill. So I don't mind that. I bet business and first class are kind of the same way in that sense of being able to walk around and chill. Also, there's a charger in here. That's neato. This bathroom seems a lot cleaner only because it's near the back. I think next time I go on a flight in general, but maybe a big flight like Emirates, I'm going to pick a back seat because there's less people back here, or that's what it seems like right now. We have seven hours and 24 minutes left on this flight. On my first flight coming here, I fell asleep and woke up with five hours left. I am worried. I wanna go to sleep, but I can't. As you see on the screen right now, the front of this cabin is just filled with children. They're just crawling around on the floor. They're crying. It's, you know, it's normal, that it happens. It's no big deal. But the problem that I'm trying to figure out is everyone has opened up the windows. As you saw in Jake's cabin, everyone has their windows closed because people want to sleep. It's super early in the morning. As you see, the sun is just beaming in right now. I want to sleep, but I can't. Between the kids and the cabin just being lit up. <laughs> they did ask. Uh, people to keep the windows closed when we first got on the flight. For some reason, the people up there are just keeping it open. And it stinks because it's like daytime, but it's really not daytime for me right now. So fortunately, I do have Netflix. They do have Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi was about 20 bucks. I'm gonna keep myself entertained and at some point I will fall asleep, hopefully. Three hours and 54 minutes left. If one isn't crying, another one is. And that's okay. Well, it isn't, but... Just got really unlucky on this flight. First flight was great, the second one was rough. <laughs> Hello, we're back. Two hours and 39 minutes left. I've been watching Babylon now. That's been fun. Makes me want to start acting, but we got our breakfast. I got chicken, sausage, and an omelet, orange juice, Nature Valley bar, muffins. The food on this flight has been phenomenal.
well. We're finally getting off. That was the worst and longest flight I've ever felt before. <laughs> Gotta do this soon though. Thank you guys, have a good day. Oh, back in the United States. Have a good day guys, thank you. Whoa. It's not that hot out. 16 hours on that freaking plane. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Back in my favorite terminal, C. Only downsides, we have an eight minute walk to Border Protection and Customs. Well, that definitely was my worst flight I've ever experienced, but not due to Emirates, just because of the situation with the people I were around and it's not their fault. I'm not hating on anyone but the flight itself was good. The seats were comfortable. The entertainment was good. I love that little dash cam they have on the plane. Um, I definitely want to fly Emirates again in the future, but I'm definitely just going to invest in some soundproof headphones because that was actually really painful and I barely got any sleep and I'm only awake right now because I need to be. And I'm curious to see how Jake's flight went. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look who it is. You're back. What's up? You going downtown oh, oh. tonight or what? Oh no. <laughs> back in the US. How was your flight? Oh, it was good. Yeah? Yeah, row 50 was good. It was all the way in the back, but uh, it's kind of like the secret gem because you get extra leg room back there. You have extra like space to move around. There's only two people back there, so they don't have that middle seat. Row 50 is pretty good. Uh, my flight was absolutely horrible. The really? baby, no, literally, I've never Damn. been more angry at a baby. I mean, I'm tired. I'm like really I tired. I didn't sleep. I just you like. didn't sleep at all? Maybe like, <laughs> maybe the most, th an hour. I think I got like three to four, five. Yeah. Three, four, five, somewhere in there, like off and on. Yeah. But hey, we're but back. We did it. Back, back in Orlando. Woo! We did it. Orange County Brewers. That's where we met our first friends. That's where it all started. We've been literally waiting for bags. For like an hour, this is my worst flight ever, confirmed. Literally the belt has just stopped. No more bags are coming. So like many people are still here. Fourth time. Well, um, that was actually hard. Like I was like trying to be optimistic after I got off the plane. I'm like, okay, yeah. yeah, the kids were bad, but we're here, we're good. No, it took us an extra hour. It's like 12, 15 yeah. now. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that's Emirates' fault, airplane's fault. I mean, I mean families had the like- The baggage thing got stuck four times and each family had so much luggage that they were bringing. Regardless, so that was definitely my worst flight ever. I'm so tired, the kids kept me up and then we wait. I, I'm a little hangry and tired and sleepy. I'm gonna rest, but let's talk about the positive. Dubai, such a fun time. Such it's a great time. Good, good, time. good, good time. You're Sad that it's over. It what was your favorite cool. moment? Um, probably the top of the Burj Khalifa. The Burj Khalifa was an was pretty cool. That was an unreal, unreal experience, so. Yeah, uh, I honestly can't think of mine off the top, so I'm gonna have to just say SeaWorld was really sick. SeaWorld too, SeaWorld yeah. was close up. Um, guys, thank you seriously so much from the bottom of my heart for watching this series. It was definitely a really big, like, not challenge, but it's like going to Dubai, like who does that? Like, it, it, I, Very unique. it was really fun. Uh, very rewarding, both as a content creator and just a human being. So thank you so much for joining us. Make sure you follow this guy. Follow me, please. I need yes. followers, brand new. <laughs> and uh, what, what should we do next? What should we do next? Um, I want to do Bali. Ooh. All right, guys. If you guys want to see us Fortune. do another trip together, let us know. <laughs> Every day is a blessed day to be alive, and we will thank see you guys. In the next one. Bye. I'm going to bed now, forever. I'll see you in like a week. Yeah. <laughs>